Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and of course also into the DXY because the traditional markets are trading again. So we're gonna have a look over everything so we can estimate what could happen during this week, especially with this bullish formation that we're having here in the Bitcoin price. But before we start with the content, my friends, a big shout out to every viewer and to every subscriber out there. We are reaching now 7000 subscribers. So thank you very, very much for your support, my friends. And it's my pleasure to bring out these daily videos to you and share my knowledge with you. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel for daily updates. And of course, also follow me in my other channels, for example, here, Twitch, Discord, DTube, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on. Make sure that you follow me also over in these other channels. Like this, you will always get updated with the newest crypto stuff that is very interesting and it is very important that you're always up to date, especially during these exciting times that we are in right now. So let's start straight into the condom, my friends. Here, the four hour time frame is potentially creating this ascending triangle and we could see a potential breakout maybe during this week already. I was thinking that most likely we're gonna have here a push above this resistance of $52,000 towards the end of March, but maybe we could see even an attempt here to break this $52,000 and then also create a support above maybe even during this week. Because if we are able to maintain the support that we are creating here currently at around $48,000, there's a very high chance that we could see here a breakout to the upside and potentially also create a support above $52,000. And the target then would be at least to reach here the old all time high here of $58,000 and then of course potentially even go higher. So the four hour time frame currently, of course, is giving a sell signal here in my own indicator. Usually here we are trading three hour and here you can see that we got several sell signals here and we got rejected right here at our previous support trend line, which now is turning back into resistance. So once this resistance line here, this 52,000 is broken, then we are going straight towards this 58, potentially even up here towards $60,000 because these two important resistance lines are the ones that are coming from this ascending broadening wedge. But I think if we are able also to push higher than 52,000, not only here we're gonna get some huge resistance, but also here at this important trend line up here at around $66,000. This is what we're gonna have to look later on in the daily time frame where this trend line is coming from. But I think uh, $66,000 is very likely to be reached if we are able to push higher here and have an explosive breakout to the upside above $52,000. So short term, we could still get here some problems to uh, fight here this $52,000 resistance. So I'm expecting here maybe another retest of $48,400, potentially even crash all the way down here towards 44 to 45 thousand before we gear up here to break this resistance that we have at 52,000 but overall I think that here we're gonna see a bullish breakout pretty soon even though short term we could still see another retest of this support trend line down here and if you're trading over on uh, discord with my own indicator then watch out for the next uh, buy signal here in the three hour time frame we are back in an uptrend here based on the EMAs so with the next buy signal we should have the chance to break this resistance that we have here at $52,000. And for everyone that wants to join our free crypto trading chat in Discord, then make sure to use only the official link that you find down below here in the video description. Once you clicked here on the invitation link, you have to go here to the read first channel and then click here on thumbs up to confirm that you are a human and not a bot. And like this, you have free access to the trading chat. And if you also want to get access to the live stream, then you have to contact me here on Discord with a private message because you have to give a little donation in order to maintain this live stream. And with this donation, then you have a lifetime access to the live stream here with the indicator that is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin. 
and overall we could see here this possible retest of this uh, support that we have here i think that a possible bullish breakout is very very likely during this week and if we would treat it now as an ascending triangle then we could have a potential target let's say we're gonna break out here to the upside then the target could be in theory up here at around sixty thousand five hundred dollar and if we are able to take out the previous all-time high i'm pretty confident that we're also gonna go and test here this red trend line that we have up here at around sixty six thousand dollar and this trend line up here is coming from the daily time frame here from these previous two highs that we had. First it is 42,000 and now this 58,000. So if we are able to go higher than this old all time high, I think we could easily reach the $66,000. And then there, of course, we have to see if we are able to push higher or if here we could potentially get rejected again and then start another pullback down towards the support that we then would have towards here this 54 to 55,000 dollars. So you see that it would make very much sense my friends if we would break out now to the upside that we could potentially test this resistance up here at 66,000 then maybe come down to reconfirm this old resistance which now then would be acting as a new support and then have another big bounce to the upside and reach our bullish targets between 75 to 100 thousand dollar so these possible moves would take of course uh, some days and weeks so that's why i think these bullish targets between 75 to 100k we could maybe reach towards the end of the month maybe also during april before then maybe we're gonna start a major correction because i told you all in yesterday's video my friends that if we are entering right now already in this stage between 75 to 100k in my opinion we are a bit too early to reach those targets and that's why i still think that after reaching the 75 to 100k we maybe could get a potential bigger correction especially if this channel that we are in right now is going to end up in a big rising wedge because then if we're going to see a breakout to the downside we could potentially go and test these regions down here between twenty thousand dollar and thirty thousand dollar where also the 200 daily moving average currently is lining up right here at 24,000. So that's why I think if we're gonna have here an explosive move to the upside and we potentially could create this rising wedge, we may be then gonna see a big correction down towards the 200 daily moving average and then somewhere here have another bounce to the upside and then of course continue our bull market. If we're gonna reach the 100K already now in March or April, then I think we are a bit going too fast here and most likely we're gonna see one last wash out here before we definitely then gear up to go towards 100K and also break it. Because in the future, I think that 100K will be the new 6K. So we're gonna create a new base towards 100K and most likely we're never gonna visit again prices way below 100K again. So if we're gonna see here a potential big washout, so a big one less dump once we're reaching these hot levels up here between 75 to 100K during March or April, then I think we could see this last bigger correction before we definitely then gear up towards 100 k and also go way higher than that but so far we are still in this stage where we can see here potential move towards our next target of around sixty-six thousand dollar before maybe then we have another pullback another retest of the new support at around fifty two thousand dollar and then move on again towards 75 to 100k and so on until then we're gonna see a breakout here to the downside if this is going to end up in a big rising wedge here in the daily time frame because that is a bearish pattern but of course it can also be denied if we are starting to close candles above this red trend line because then this pattern would be denied and we most likely gonna see an explosive move here to the upside towards 100k but overall you see my friends that most likely we're gonna see some more explosive moves to the upside and the only thing that currently could make some problems is here the dxy because the dxy is still pushing to the upside but as you can see we are coming very close to our resistance line up here at around 93 dollars where also the 200 daily moving average is lining up and I think most likely here we're gonna get rejected if we are able to reach these targets up here because we are also quite overbought in my own indicator and also in the RSI. So I think here sooner or later we're gonna see a major correction to the downside potentially again towards $90. 
and that of course could fire up here the Bitcoin price and we're gonna reach our next bullish targets. So we have to keep a very close eye here as soon as the DXY is reaching here the resistance what will happen because if here we're going to start a major correction to the downside which in my opinion is very likely to come in the next coming hours and days latest then we're going to see a big pump here in the Bitcoin price because here we are really gearing up for a big move uh, to break this $52,000 resistance and now the interesting thing is here over in Ethereum because if we go over into the 4 hour you can see that Ethereum could have had already a breakout to the upside. We are now above the previous resistance here of around $1,650 and you can also see that currently we are trading above the 200 moving average in the 4 hour. So if we can maintain these 4 hour closes above $1,690 so above the 200 moving average I think that here on Ethereum we're gonna see first a big pump towards the old all-time high here of around $2,000 and then most likely also continue to go higher we had also here a sell signal so it is possible that maybe we're gonna see some more dips to the downside to maybe retest this $1,550 dollar maybe and then immediately come back up again but it is already very very bullish that we are seeing here now this resistance broken and that we already are starting to close four hour candles above this important moving average it doesn't mean that we cannot go down again because it is possible that we could come down to retest this 1550 but if here we're going to have another bounce to the upside and then go straight again above the 200 moving average then I think we are good to go also here in Ethereum towards new all-time highs. And if we have a look here into the daily time frame, you can also see that yesterday we had a successful close above the 20 daily moving average. And so far we are also trading above the 20 daily moving average. So if today we can close here this candle above the 20 daily, I think we are good to go to the upside. And of course the same goes for Bitcoin because we had yesterday also here a close above the 20 daily, but uh, we also have to confirm it that this important moving average is now new support and not any more resistance. So if today we are able to close above $50,200, I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside in the next coming hours and days. So everything is starting again to look more bullish than bearish my friends. I think there is a very high chance that we're gonna stay within this channel here between $45,000 and the resistance here of currently around $66,000 a move here along the way. Until then of course we're gonna see a big breakout here to the upside or to the downside. And since a rising wedge is a bearish pattern I'm afraid that here maybe we could see one last washout that here maybe we could have a big break out to the downside after reaching our bullish targets of around 75 to 100k then go down to retest potentially here the 200 daily moving average or if we switch over into the weekly time frame that we maybe come down to then test the 20 weekly moving average that currently is here $32,000. So let's say we're gonna reach very fast now this 75 to 100K and then we're gonna have a big crash down to the 20 weekly moving average at around $30,000. That would be a huge correction. And that's why I think that scenario could still play out that we are coming down to test the 20 weekly moving average after going here completely parabolic and then have this final washout before then we gear up towards 100k and also break it. So this is at least my theory that I have that could happen if we are going now completely parabolic towards these bullish targets because I told you my friends I'm very very bullish for Bitcoin this year I think we're gonna go way above 100k but if we are reaching those price levels already now in March or April I think we are just too early and we still could get somewhere a huge correction because so far we never had a huge correction what we have seen so far was just a little pullback after a big parabolic rise up the same goes also for this move over here this is just a bullish reset before we're gonna continue our parabolic move to the upside but this potential washout is just my theory it's just speculation at the moment I think until then 
we're gonna stay within this channel and that's why we should still expect continuation to the upside and I am already starting to look out for good long opportunities here on Bybit and Femex because as soon as we are getting another buy signal here in the Bitcoin price and of course a big sell signal in the DXY especially if we are getting rejected at the 200 daily moving average then I think we are good to go long again and here of course we can take a lot of profits if we're gonna stay within this channel that is shifted to the upside until of course we're gonna lose the support that we are creating here at around $45,000 because if we're gonna lose this $45,000 as a support then I'm afraid that we could maybe see a possible correction and then of course we should have a look where the 20 weekly moving average is lining up because usually Bitcoin during a bull market in the worst case scenario only comes down to the 20 weekly moving average and then have a big bounce to the upside. So I don't think that we will go below $45,000 at least for the moment. It looks like that here we're gonna have enough support to see continuation to the upside. But just keep in mind here the 20 weekly moving average at $32,000 would be the worst case scenario if we're gonna lose here the support that we are creating right now here from this green trend line that is coming down here from $18,000. So the conclusion for this video my friends is that even though there are still some warning signs especially with this uh, pump that we are seeing here in the DXY Bitcoin and Ethereum are starting to look again way more bullish and I think we are preparing here a big move to the upside especially if here the DXY is getting rejected and is starting a huge correction again towards $90 then I think we're gonna see big fireworks to the upside and the same goes also for the stock market especially for the Nasdaq because even though currently the futures are looking red it looks like that we could open in red I think also here very very soon we're gonna have a big bounce to the upside because we are hitting here very strong support at around $12,300 this acted previously as a strong resistance and now it should be acting as a new big support and also the 200 daily moving average is rising up here and catching up with the price latest then I think we're gonna see a big bounce from it because we are currently very oversold and in my own indicator you can see that very soon we could get a buy signal also here so even though it looks like that maybe today the US markets are gonna open up in red I'm still leaning more bullish that we're gonna see a very nice bullish week incoming not only for the crypto market but also for the stock market so with that said guys gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel I do daily TA videos and also check out all the referral links down below here because with my sign up links you will get some extra money and extra bonus if you for example sign up to Binance, Swissborg, Coinbase and so on and of course also over on Bybit and Femix if you want to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum with leverage then use my referral links to support the channel and of course also to get some extra bonus so thank you again very much for your great support my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye